That is correct, folks. M1 Finance, monthly dividend payments. Every dividend we earned in the month of January 2022 is coming right to you. Pretty okay month for us. Pretty okay month. We're pretty excited about it. I hope you're excited about it. Um, on the month, as far as performance, not so hot. Down 3%. Actually, all things considered, we're kind of okay with that because we kind of outperformed the major indices quite a bit here. So um, our portfolio held up pretty well. Uh, in the last month, but still down quite a bit. You don't love to see that. Um, so let's talk about the dividends we got this month. Uh, we got some pretty darn good ones, so I hope you're excited to look at this. We start with January 6th. I can't talk about that date. I think you get banned off YouTube when you mention that, so I'm going to stop talking about that. But we have two payments this date. One, both very nice ones, by the way. Um, starting with Iron Mountain at $10.85, really nice one. Um, and then Vici, our first big dividend was Vici since we added the, uh, really started the position, $11.09. So finally the full position's there. It's at the weight we kind of want it to be at, $11.09. Uh, going to be looking to really forward to seeing that one every single quarter, and they're going to be up in it, um, you know, through the years. But we're going to look at that. If you weren't sure, M1 Finance doesn't necessarily have a dividend reinvestment program into specific stocks that pay the dividends, but your um, cash will automatically get reinvested into your portfolio, into whatever positions it deems fit, or you can invest it however you'd like. So I still reinvest all the cash I get on these into the portfolio. PepsiCo then on the 7th, uh, $4.03. Uh, then we have Main Street Capital, $2.94 monthly dividend payer, uh, Main Street Capital. Not too bad. Realty income, another monthly dividend payer at $3.17. Pretty nice position. I'm pretty happy about that. ARI, as you see, another darn nice dividend. Um, someone wants some attention down here. Um, at $15.51, really good dividend we receive every single quarter. Um, really nice to see that. Uh, it's, it's a great one. We always look forward to it. Uh, Apple Hospitality, $0.39 cents paid. Um, Monthly dividend payer, technically, but a cent a share, nothing crazy right now. Excited to see where they, um, I, I believe next year they're going to be um, actually raising that. And I believe they're going to be raising it to the five cent mark uh, from what I've kind of looked at, but I could be wrong in that aspect. But we'll be excited. Hopefully they get back to the 10 cent mark they were at previously. Uh, then we have Prospect Capital, another monthly dividend payer with $5.53 there. Pretty nice. Um, Orchid, uh, Orchid Island Capital, $11.49, another monthly payer as well. Um, has seen some pretty rough times and obviously just uh, a little bit ago cut the dividend. So the stock's seen some rough, rough times. Um, but, you know, I've enjoyed a very nice dividend in the meantime. So um, really enjoyed it. NRZ, big, big position on NRZ here, which I love. $20.19 paid. Great quarterly, um, just a shmamalama. Uh, Gladstone Capital in total, $4.70. Don't know why the split up's there, but that's okay. $4.70 from Gladstone. Uh, SPHD at $1.97. And then SPY, the uh, SP500 ETF trust from Spider, $2.14. Nothing crazy there, but those are that. We're going to take a look at the dividend tracking spreadsheet. In case you didn't look at the last video, you should. But here's where the M1 Finance portfolio stacks up right now. This is the trend line. Um, we're going to zoom out real quick for you. If I can get my second hand back, dog. Um, and this was our best month ever. Our best month ever at $94 even. Kind of strange, but $94 even. Look, our best month ever is really nice. Where does that stack up when you look at the uh, Robinhood? Well, Robinhood also had the best month ever for them, but still, overall, our best month ever puts us in a darn good shape. These portfolios are darn near neck and neck. I was planning on the M1 Finance to eventually outweigh uh, in dividends the Robinhood, but I've been buying a lot of nice dividend payers in the Robinhood portfolio lately. So we're going to take a look at that. Cumulative totals, where are we stacking up? Well, the M1 Finance is sitting at um, 1,000, uh, which I guess we could look at the data here because it's hard to read on the chart sometimes. Um, $1,298.31, and then for 
both portfolios combined, uh, $3,748.20. Uh, so really nice to see. That's what I got for you. I hope you're excited. Let's go.